Dutchy here. Today I'm gonna be going over the Mies. First we have the ball, then we have the swordsman, then we have the gunner. So let's go. The swordsman, oh, the ball, he is very fast. Uh, top tier. And he can combo very, very well. That's, those are pretty much all of his very good stuff. He's also pretty easy to learn, which I like too. But yeah. But yeah. So, <laughs> I just said, but yeah, twice. Well, that was actually three times. Um, so, first I'm going to be going over his moveset, then over his customs, and then his combos. So, let's start. First, we have his moveset. So, we have his jab. So, his jab is not really too extraordinary. Um, people can DI over, um, out of it. You don't find yourself using it that much. But... Well, you can jab 1-2 into a down tilt, which combos at local sense. Okay. And then we have his side tilt. His side tilt has a little more range. You can combo into it too, and combo out of it, I believe, into a dash attack most of the time. Uh, but yeah. So that, that's, that's his side tilt. His down tilt, as I just said, uh, can combo well. And, well, it's much more of a combo starter. You don't really use it mid-combo that much. But you can extend combos with it, but I don't really use it that much. I only use it to start combos. But, yeah, it does, it's really good at its job. And then we have his up tilt, that's his up smash. His up tilt. This can combo as well. I just gotta go and bam him. Bam. Okay. So, combos very well at low percents. You're gonna see it in a lot of all combos that I'm gonna be talking about later on this video. But yeah, so... That's his tilt. Now for his smash attacks, we have a side smash. Obviously the stronger of all his smash attacks. Pretty much like every single other character. Um, you can combo into it in some of the times. Which I really like, but uh, yeah. That's really all for that. <laughs> now for his up smash. Not much to say here, it's a normal up smash. Uh, it's not as strong as some other characters like Mario's. Um, but, it's not bad either. I just don't tend to use it that much. And for his down smash, this can cover uh, rules or ledge options, just like most of those uh, down smashes. That was pretty cool. And then we have his dash attack. You, you use this in a lot of your combos. Um, and it's also pretty cool because you can start combos with it as well at low percents. Let's see if I can actually get it. It's weird. Why can't I do it? Okay, for some reason I can't do it right now. <laughs> But yeah, dash attack, pretty good. And then for his, um, his aerials is next. So neutral air, this is just like Mario's. Um, kills, obviously. Uh, you can shield out of it. And really, you're just gonna be using this in your neutral game. I mean, like, really. You see me use it. <laughs> but now for his forward air, this is one of his best moves, basically. You can combo into it, you can combo from it. It's just good all around. But yeah, <laughs> so that's his forward aerial. His back aerial is not bad either. It's just a bit slower. 
I don't use it that much, but uh, you use it in your neutral game uh, a little bit. It's not a lot because you can't show hop into it because it won't do anything. Maybe it will, I don't know. But you can't fastball it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Wait, wait, bad. <laughs> But yeah, so that is his back ale, and then we have his up ale. This combo is pretty much every single character we've covered so far has a pretty awesome up ale. But you're gonna see that in our combo area. Yeah. So yeah. And then we have his down ale. You've seen me use this a couple times in this video, it meals just like every single down ale, but, well, not every single down ale, but most, and it also can kill if you hit the sour spot at, like, 120 or something, well, I think it's 100 if, if you're off the stage, uh, but yeah, so that's his alias. And then now we're gonna go over his grab. So his grab is pretty awesome. His pummel isn't that bad either. Um, but his great thing about the grab is his down throw. I mean, like, is this any surprise by now? Every single character I've covered, with the exception of Pikachu, I think, has a pretty awesome up ale. Oh, down throw, sorry. But yeah, really not much of a surprise there. <laughs> uh, you can combo from it, obviously, because it's a down nail. But I'm gonna be covering it pretty oh, later in this video when I go to the combo area. So yeah. Now for your fourth foe. Basically, you don't use this at all, unless you're at a high percent and you just want them off the stage. Aside from that, there's really no point in using it. Because you can't combo from it at all. Now for his up throw, way too, it goes way too far to combo, except for at lower percents, but that's really it. Back throw is the same thing with the uh, foot throw. But, yeah. So, now, I'm trying to think if we have anything left. Micah, do we have anything left? Um, yes. What do we have left? No, I just covered that. Okay, I think we're on to the customs now. Wait, Chloe, why do we level so far Because there's no reason to. <laughs> Anyways, so, okay, so anyways, uh, with this custom, this is first custom for his Nutra Special is this. Um, you can view a Volst it, obviously, but it's pretty awesome when you do. Gets you some momentum. See? Ah, you're wrong. There we go. But yeah, you can reverse it right there. I'm pretty sure it's called viewers viewables but yeah um it also does a lot of damage and it can't be stopped by um by Ness's down special and stuff moves like that so yeah really awesome <coughs> now his forced side special is onslaught this is basically the best one that he has here because in the ale you can use it and it kills it's not bad for covering. Um, and you can chase the opponent with it. So let's say I go and throw him, and then he goes to get me, and then bam. It just override, overrides what he did, unless it's some, unless he's already charging a move for me. But yeah, that's besides the point. So onside, very good, also kills at the top of the stage. Let's see if I can get it right here. Ah, nope. 
Also, you're left in free fall after you use it, so watch out. There we go, that's an example. Okay, now for his forced up special and forced down special, I'm gonna go have to uh, get my special meat for that. So, what I am. I'm almost still. There we go. Gonna go back to on it. Okay. So it's forced up special. It's called Soaring Axe Kick. This really is okay. It's like it's like Ike's A fuel basically. It goes up and then it goes down and it covers a lot of vertical distance. You can also move it to the side some, but like not very much. So really I don't recommend this at all. Unless, um, you're very good about getting, um, getting next to the ledge when you use it. Because look how far that goes if you're next to the ledge. Very, very far. So, yeah. It can also medial, but hardly ever do I find myself using that. Let's see if I can actually do it. Yeah. But anyways. So Sewing Axe Kick. Not that great. And then his first downs special is Headache Make. Well, not Headache Make or whatever that's called. Basically, this is either a hit or miss. It can be a hit because if you actually hit them and they're at a high percent, wham, you just got a KO. That part is, it's not exactly the greatest thing for recovery, unlike um, the other two that you have options for. So unless you're using Soaring Axe Kick and you feel perfectly fine with recovery, um, at least vertically, then go ahead and use this. But yeah, most professionals, uh, well, you know, good Smash Bros. players don't use uh, head that move much, if any. But then again, there's not many me tri me players out there, so it's a really unexplored move. Okay, so now we need to look at his second things. In my opinion, his first ones are better, but uh, his second ones aren't bad either. So, let's do this quick. Okay. So, his second up special, or neutral special, is what I call the Shoryuken. <laughs> it actually has a name, but I just call it Shoryuken. Because it's a very strong upward punch. So, what else are you going to call it? What am I doing? <laughs> but yeah, sure you can. Kills pretty early. Um, and you can, there's a couple setups that you can use. I haven't exploded too much. Um, but it's not a bad move. So, you can definitely look, uh, try to figure out yourself if you care about it. But, yeah. That's his show you can. Now, for side special, you saw me use this. This is the flaming thingy. I don't even know what its name is. But basically, it's, it goes further than Onslaught. It does damage. Um, well, it's not a multi-hit move, it's just, well, bam. Uh, but the problem is you can't exactly chase people with it, because you have a lot of end lag. So, yeah, not that great, 
uh, in terms of just trying to follow them. But if you're looking for one for covering, then I highly recommend this one. So yeah. Okay, so now for his second up special, this is most likely the best. Pretty, pretty much everyone uses it that plays is the that plays the me ball. I have the couple that actually play it. Uh, but you've seen me use this all throughout the video. You can combo with it and then it kills. That's really what it is. So yeah, helicopter kick. Okay, now for his second down special, this is arguably the better one, but we'll see. Basically, this one it has a better recovery if you're using helicopter kick. Goes fall horizontally and can be used for mix up. Mix ups. So if someone's continually doing the same combo, you can just do that out of it. And then, yeah. Now let's go into his third customs. His third, all, his third customs are arguably his worst, but they're not. Uh, you can play with them most definitely. I just don't find me myself using them uh, very much. But yeah, so for his neutral special, he has this. Basically, he got the power of a falcon punch. You can reverse it to make it even stronger. So yeah, basically, it's a falcon punch. So, so really, there's not much to say besides that. I mean, like, it's a falcon punch. <laughs> what else do you say about it? If you can read someone and then hit hit him with it, then it's like, yeah. It's really, really good. But, yeah. Power of a Falcon Punch. Okay. Now for his set special, we have Headache Maker. His arguably worst one. I don't even know why this thing is a thing. Because it's one property that is useful is Meteorian. And he already has moves that do that. So, like, really, there's no reason to use it. So, yeah, don't use Headache Maker. Now, for his uh, third up special, there's Piston Punch. Basically, this is as good as Little Max Recovery, so I don't recommend it unless you have your down or uh, side special that can actually help you with that department. But really, what it does is it kills at the start of the stage, at the top of the stage, and you can also combo into it pretty easily. So yeah, it's really bad for recovery. But not that bad in terms of like actually attacking. But yeah. Now for his dance special, we have that one. I don't even know what it's called. It has, it does different things depending on where you use it. If you use it in the ale, it stops you and then you can kick. It's pretty good for an anti for if someone's trying to get you a hoo-ha and looking at you. Um, but if you use it twice, then it just doesn't stop you. Which can be a good thing. Which can protect your fall, kind of. So, it's not that bad, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Now, as on the ground, it's basically a tech chaser. I mean, like, Willy. What else are you supposed to say about that? It's a tech chaser. But yeah, anyways, now we are finally on the combos. 
Now I'm going to be doing all these combos with the recommended set that I have here, which is 1122. Uh, but if you want to use any of the other specials, then go ahead and experiment with those. But I'm just using what most people use already. So yeah, let's do this. So at 0%, he has two main combos that are very good. He has the up tilt up air combo. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want either. But yeah, if you get and get them with that, then you can use the up tilt into an up air. But yeah. Now, um, his other option is what I call the Kobe combo, and does 43% if you can get all of the hits. It's not a necessarily true combo, the first part is, but after the first part, uh, then it's completely a mix up. So yeah, here's how it works grab, down throw, short up forward air. Okay, so let's repeat that again. Grab, down throw, short up, forward air. And then up tilt. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. You can short hop. Ah, uh, I'm just getting really confused here. Okay, so if you short hop, you can go directly into the uh, up air or up tilts. Thank you, Mario. Um, but if you full jump, then you can up air it into it. Then after that, it's a mix up. Um, I like to go for the neutral air just to finish it off. But you can also, but after the neutral air, I'm pretty sure you can also go for a side special, but I'm not sure, so let me check. There we go. So it can do even more. So, yeah, really, really good combo. If you're going to be playing me Brawl or just to use it, it's, it's the best. Just please call it the Kobe combo. I figured it out. I get... I get the name. <laughs> but yeah, now... Sorry about that, guys. Okay, now for his combos at 30%. Now those combos, as I just said, will pretty much until 29. So that's why I went 30. But 30%, um, you can go up L, up L. I'm pretty sure if you full jump it, or show up, let's see. But yeah, so two up airs is guaranteed, and after that, it's just a mix-up. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Um, and then, uh, you can do this. Uh, that's not what I want. <laughs> that is a really good combo, though, so yeah. But you want to grab, down throw, and I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right there either. That's not right either. Let's see if I can get it. It's a pretty hard combo to do, but it goes into the side special. There we go. But yeah, it happens a bit later. But, uh, yeah, so side special. You don't even need to use that combo just to use the side special. Com the side special works in a lot of other things, too. I'm just talking about the ones that uh, do the most damage. Um, and then, at 50%, that's when you start getting the uh, uh, more interesting combo. So, you can meteor them. 
Mateo. And if Theo Kyoto that uh, cannot cannot stand that, then they'll just die, like Little Mac. Actually, Little Mac may live at 50. But at things like 90, then it gets a little shaky. <laughs> Uh, but it gets total, obviously, the higher percent of that. Let's see if I can do it, you'll... But yeah, then you're still getting the saddle spot, which does kill, but just not. But yeah, doesn't mean you And now, uh, we have the glorious combo, which can be used at pretty much any percent, but most affected, effective at this percent. La, 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 la. And that's four nail into up special. So yeah, grab down throw. Goes into up special, kills. Very, very good. And then I believe you can do four nail into a side stuff special. Yes. Can do that too. Oh, and I forgot to say how much these do. In the 30%, all of them do like 22 and 23. 50% that medial one, medial is and it does 20. Um, and then failed up special, the 31. And failed side special, just 23. So, yeah, the up special one is very, very good, but if you want to mix it up, uh, give them the side special. And now at 100%, this is where things get really shaky and they go from combos to mix-ups. Because really there's not many combos you can do at this percent. Because he can even escape that, I'm pretty sure. So I believe what you can do is you can go into the up special. If they DI away, you can do a backwards up special. And you do that, you hit the opposite direction. See? Now let's try that again. But yeah, that kills. So yeah, there's our combos, and thank you for watching the Mead Brawler video. If you enjoyed this one, please check out the rest of my guides. Uh, especially the ones I'm going to be doing on the Swordsman and the Gunner. So, yeah, I'll see you then.